Hello everyone, welcome to another Rex Picks. Today I'm going to be doing my review of the Tyrannosaurus Rex Ambush Pack, which is part of the Jurassic World Legacy Collection. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at everything in packaging, then we're going to look at all the pieces, accessories, and vehicles, and then I'm going to give you my thoughts on them. And just remember, if you do like this review, go ahead and check out my horror and sci-fi playlist and hit that like share and subscribe button they're all small clicks for you but it really helps this channel grow and once again i want to say thank you for checking out this video so without any further ado let's get to the review all right so here we are in packaging i do like the packaging for this okay so first off get this really nice picture of the t-rex here i like that you get this open shell here, so you can see the T-Rex, Malcolm, and what looks to be a Jeep, which is really nice. You get the Jurassic World Legacy Collection, Tyrannosaurus Rex, Ambush Pack. All right, you get your choking hazards, your age restriction, and you get Mattel here in the corner. All right, spinning around this way. You get your Jurassic World logo, a bunch of green. All right, flip it around to the back here. Okay, you get a whole bunch of goodies here. So you get a, the Jurassic World logo, the T-Rex, the vehicle, play features. Uh, you get a look at the Ian figure. Uh, some legal over here. And some legal underneath and the Mattel logo. All right. On this side, you get a whole bunch more grass. All right, the top here you get Jurassic World, Tyrannosaurus Rex playset, you know, ambush pack, and you get the rest of the open clamshell. And then underneath you get the rest of your legal and assembly. So, with all that being said, let's open this thing up and see what it's about. If you're going to be in the Philadelphia area from September 7th and 8th, then you got to check out RetroCon 2024 at the Philadelphia Expo Center. They have lots of great tables and vendors selling all sorts of retro action figures and collectibles. Plus, they have guests, arcade games, contests, panels, and much, much more. In honor of 40 years of Transformers, they will have a 40-year anniversary display stand that you could take pictures with. Special guests will be including Anson Williams, who played Potsy in Happy Days, Don Moss, who played Ralph from Happy Days and also played Eric from Dungeons & Dragons, the cartoon, voice actor Neil Ross, who played the voices of Shipwreck, Springer, and many other iconic 80s cartoon characters. Actor Lee Majors will also be there, best known for playing the $6 million man and the Fall Guy. He was also in Ash vs. the Evil Dead and The Night the Reindeer Died. Alright, so first part of this set is the figure, which is Dr. Malcolm. Uh, he's not a bad looking figure. Uh, I believe he's about, you know, 3.5 scale figure or what have you, so... That is a good size figure for any play set because that way you can make vehicles and monsters for that set without them being too huge. But just big enough to where, you know, you can get some fun play out of it and it can still look good. So let's give him the rotation. Now I didn't have a foot peg that was small enough for him. So I had to wind up using one of my hip stands. All right. There's this side. This side. And then this side, all right. Let's bring him up a little bit closer so we can see some of the detail. Now, his face doesn't really look very much like Jeff Goldblum. But still, he's a nice enough looking figure. It did some nice detailing with the jacket because the jacket can open up. You got the belt. You got a shirt underneath um, the jacket. And even an undershirt. So that's pretty cool. So they also gave him, you know, some shadow you know, around the face. So overall, he's a decent looking figure. Yeah, he doesn't look quite like Jeff, but you know what? Overall, I still think he's a nice looking figure. Get him back on the stand here. So he does have a bunch of points of articulation. So the head does move. All right. He does have a shoulder joint, an elbow joint. I thought he had a wrist joint, but it doesn't look like he has a wrist joint. All right. 
He does have a joint right above the belt line, okay? A thigh joint, a knee joint, and I, no, nah, he doesn't have any kind of ankle joint, all right? So overall, he isn't a bad little figure. You know, he's good for what he is to this toy line. So next we got the all-terrain vehicle. Now, I guess it's a Jeep or what have you, but overall, it's a neat-looking vehicle. I like the whole profile to this. So let's take a closer look at this, all right? So there it is from the side. You got the front look to it, all right? Actually, it's a Mercedes, so I was wrong. Okay, get this side. And look at it through the top. And then you even get some nice detail on the bottom, okay? Obviously, it rolls back and forth. You have on top here an open canopy that opens up like that, okay? The doors do open, so this door opens. And it looks like the rear doors don't open. I thought they actually did. That's on me. So that one opens. Uh, this door opens as well. And the back piece comes off. All right. So that's pretty cool that you could do all these cool things to it. You know, the detail is nice on here. So you get like these little search lamps, which are really nicely detailed, especially for a kid's uh, toy. They're just little stickers, but still they look nice. It's the same with on top here. If you look on top, you get those little search lights as well. Let's get a door open here and get a good look on the inside. Now, the inside is all one color black plastic, except for the green molded body. But they're nicely detailed. You can see the stick shift in there. The steering wheel, I believe, does spin. And you get some nice detailing in on the dashboard, which you can't really see very well just because really dark in there now nah, you can't see it through the top but yeah so it is very nicely molded okay so this just fits nicely right back on top all right now let's get our figure here let's see how well he works with this all right so first off open this up oops that back on there all right his arms up so he stands really well there. Now there is a peg in here. So you could get his foot on that peg. All right, we'll probably stand a little bit better. Okay, it's a little hard to get the foot on there. All right, there we go. All right, so take a look up close. As you see, he sits in there very well. No issues, you know. He may have to work a little bit to get his foot on that peg. But overall, he will stand there. He isn't really flimsy, falling all over the place. So that's pretty good. Now let's try the driver's side. Okay, put his legs up. All right. So as you can see, let's bring it up close. He fits very well in the driver's seat. No issues with that there. I'm sure you could probably even get his hands on the steering wheel because his fingers and hands are very easily moved. Well, so yes, as you can see here, you can get the hands on the steering wheel. So now if he fits in this driver's side easily, he'll definitely fit on the other side just as well. Doors close very nice. They're nice, solid doors so overall this thing looks really cool really nicely detailed rolls really easily i don't have any problems with this okay and now the piece everybody was looking forward to the t-rex all right now this thing looks really nice let's get a good look at them really good rotation all right this thing looks really cool. I like the whole design to it. The only assembly that you had to do was put the tail in, but that popped in really well. I don't have any issues with it coming off. All right, let's look at it from the top. And from the bottom. Even the feet have really nice detail to them. He stands pretty good. You know, he doesn't fall over or anything. So it's a good 
looking figure and it stands pretty well so now you got this button here it allows you to open up the mouth so let's take a closer look at that right on top here all right so you hit that mouth opens up no issues you got a couple of joints here points of articulation so you have one in the head which is all due to the mouth opening you have a joint right here in the neck it does spin not a whole lot it's a little tight then you have this joint here where most of your movement is so you do have a couple points of articulation in the head and neck which is really nice you have an arm joint here the leg you have a joint here it's really tight there it goes all right so there's a clicking action that locks it so you hear it there and boom and there's a ball joint that allows the leg to expand and contract all right you do have an ankle joint here all right and then uh like i said earlier the tail you have a joint here and i thought there was another one but no you only have the one joint okay now here's an interesting thing so right up here on the top you take a look you see this little tab here let's bring them up close this pops open okay and you got your jurassic park logo here spinning around here if you scan this it'll give you a little bit of information on the dinosaur that you have so in this case it'd be the t-rex i guess you scan it like you would a qr code you know because they didn't say anything about a special website so that's pretty neat you know so your kids can have fun you know having them dinosaurs you know eat people and stuff and you can still learn something about it so this is a really neat looking figure i overall like him just so overall i really do like this set i think it's a really neat set it's very nicely detailed for what it is um the only thing that, you know, collectors might have an issue with is that the figure doesn't really look that much like Jeff Goldblum. But for kids playing with it, they won't really care. But I think this would be a great set for either A, your kids to play with it, or B, it would even look nice on the shelf with the rest of your Jurassic Park stuff. So overall, I really like this set. Um, you know, the joints are pretty solid on both the figure and the T-Rex. I don't have any problems with that. The T-Rex has some really cool play features such as the mouth opening and even this neat little, um, you know, learn about your dinosaur uh, QR code in here. So that's pretty cool as well. The vehicle moves very easily. You can get the figure in and out of it pretty well. It has some fun, you know, play features to it. And the figure has enough articulation for the kids to be able to move them and play with them. And if you're somebody who's a collector and want to display them, those points of articulation can allow you to get them in different poses for display as well. So overall, I really like this set. I think it's really cool and I'd highly recommend it either for play or for collectors. So with that being said, I hope you guys did like this review. If you did, go ahead and check out my um, horror and sci-fi playlist and hit that like, share and subscribe button. They're all small clicks for you, but it really helps this channel grow. And once again, I want to say thank you for watching this video. So until the next one, late.